Hello and welcome back, my name is Will, I'm the host of this. This was intended for my main channel, but I thought it might get buried there because I know what it's like. I might do something on there, but the sec I don't know what it is about my channel and this type of content that just gets buried by the algorithm, so hi. Bots. Not that long ago, Gothic Therapy, a brilliant YouTube channel known as Master of the TDS on Twitter, brought down a bot network and the only company to talk about it were Bleeding Fool. Voxnet, Vaxnet, VNXNET got their Twitter account suspended and a large botnet were coming down. Then they started coming after him with other botted accounts and it's been a big mess of bots and salty company that's pissed off about it. Where do we start with this? <laughs> His content and many other people's, including Critical Drinkers, is being stolen by bots and it's being reposted by varying companies on other websites and YouTube. Vaxnet Voxnet has a YouTube account that tells people how to do this. You can go on YouTube and look them up and they have an account that will tell people how they are doing this and what they are doing. And I find it absolutely bizarre. Gothic Therapy are a great channel. Him and his wife are absolutely wonderful and I genuinely enjoy watching them. The network was massive and the fact that they are attacking his account. Recently Twitter did uh, a massive bot purge of content and I'm getting no replies. Links in my bio. Do you want my feet pics? You know, whatever. I mean the bot army has been used to both bolster companies such at engagement for companies such as Disney. I've seen it in YouTube comments, I've seen it on Twitter and many other social media platforms. Disney and other companies have used these bots to boost their platform and create a very weird space. The adult bots, at one point I was getting 350 replies, likes and retweets in the space of two and a half hours. I'm not joking. I mean, the bot traffic was huge, and it's not just companies like Voxnet, it is adult companies selling you feet pics. <clears throat> That's the phrase I'm using on here. It's become this really weird sea, and a lot of people were very upset that he was even bothering to do it, but it is artificial engagement. You can watch his video, which I'll link below, and I'll tag his channel, because they're very good. His, his content is under attack and basically he's under attack. The stealing of intellectual property. Now this is the problem, he could get those videos taken down. But the problem with that is, and this is a thing that most people don't realise, is to get a video taken down or along that line you have to give your real name and address and contact details and people have been very slimy because you can abuse the copyright system on YouTube to a level which is amazing. What I find interesting, as this has gone on, there is no person in the middle. Maybe YouTube should have a team of people in the middle where you don't have to share details across either or. If I got that, I wouldn't have to deal with people on this side and that side. It would just go to the team, the other person's details would go to the team, and then we would move from there. I mean, the whole situation is messy and, you know, it's a salty company. I can show you the tweet that just made me burst out laughing. I tweeted, so I ticked someone off with my bot reporting so badly they stole my videos. Bot account. Like, this is not on and something needs to be done. And I know, no one's gonna care, no one's gonna listen to this short little video of mine, but I've had my content stolen and it's not a nice thing. James Summerton situation in which he lifted a section of my video. Be it some crazy Swedish stalker, like there is a problem here and there is a, a major thing. Like, there must be a way of getting your content taken down that's been stolen that doesn't require you to share details with the of a party. I had to fight BuzzFeed a few years ago for stealing a video of mine verbatim. They stole a video of mine and eventually it got taken down. BuzzFeed of all the trash on the internet, right? The bot network was so big that it was being used to inflate everything from stock price. Well, I won't even go into the full details because we'll be here for hours. Like I said, I'll link his video because he'll be better at explaining it than me. But companies, stocks, shares were being bolstered by this bot network. And it was massive, absolutely huge. And they're stealing content now because they're salty over finally getting what they deserve. The fact that this company still has a YouTube channel, they're still allowed to operate and they are still a thing frustrates me no end. It just, it's there. 
and it frustrates me to the point that it's just weird to watch. Because having your intellectual property stolen by some rando, great. Having it stolen by some strange company that you've ticked off on the internet is maybe not a good thing. What can he do? What can he do to do this? I had to block. At one point, they were hammering his account so hard, anyone that replied or tweeted him or retweeted him was getting replies from these bots. And I had to block 17 accounts in the space of five minutes. And it seemed to be this endless. 99% of the people I have blocked on Twitter are not people, they're bots. The bot purge definitely helped, but there were accounts that got caught up in the interim, which is never a good thing. A lot less replies from feet pics in bio to everything else that keeps going on. So I do wonder what can happen and what can be done. An opinion, I don't know the fix, and I don't really have an opinion on how to fix it because I don't know how, but just spreading awareness for this is a good thing. And I think it's extremely shady, just because a company got what they deserved. Hopefully you guys engage with this and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.